Is now the time to invest in corporate China? Today, I want to talk to you about the Hang Seng Index, which is one of the big indexes like the Dow Jones on the planet. What is the index? What is the Hang Seng? And what they are is a way to measure the performance of some of the largest corporations that are listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. These are some of the biggest corporations on the planet, but they're based largely in China. They're listed on the Hong Kong Exchange as their primary listing, and they dominate the economy of China. By collecting the large companies on the Hong Kong Exchange in one index is simply a shorthand. It doesn't represent a giant corporation. It's a, it's a measurement tool that enables you, the investor, with one figure to see collectively whether a large number of Chinese companies listed on the Hong Kong Exchange are going up or going down in terms of their stock price. The major Chinese companies in insurance, in banking, in retail, in hospitality, in aircraft manufacturing, you name it, it's listed on the Hang Seng Index. So then the question is, how is the index performed? Obviously, because the world has been on a roller coaster in the last three years, the Hang Seng Index, although it represents companies that themselves have been making a lot of money in a lot of markets, not just in China, but around the world, has struggled. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. And then the question for you, the investor, is how do you time your investments so you're not buying at the peak and you're not selling in the valleys? The way you would have exposure to the Hang Seng Index is simply to buy one of the many ETFs that mirror the balance of companies that are in the index. So you would have in one share of your ETF fund, you would have a balance of the, say, 60% of the Hong Kong market on a proportionally smaller scale. What's the opportunity in, in the Hang Seng Index? The opportunity is simply to have an ownership stake in the performance of the Chinese economy. What are the risks? The risks are many. There are regulatory risks in China. The government in Beijing is often indifferent, sometimes hostile to the performance of its large companies. Then there's the currency risks, as people feel that China keeps its currency at an artificially low level and try, always try to force a revaluation on the Chinese government. And finally, there is the matter that in the Far East, as in other parts of the world, there are competitors to these big companies and they squeeze profit margins. Finally, China has suffered, as has the world, through the variables of the virus and the pandemic. And I would say in the last three years, if you look at the roller coaster performance of this index, that would account for a large percentage of the uncertainty in the Hang Seng. The one strategy I might recommend for somebody tempted by having exposure to the Hang Seng Index would be this, would be not to buy the entire index, but perhaps every year reposition your portfolio where you buy the laggard portfolio performers in the Hang Seng. In the United States, this is known as the strategy called the Dogs of the Dow, where you buy the bottom, the 10 worst performers each year and keep them for a year. And generally they rebalance and have more appreciation than the stellar performers. It's just a repositioning of a portfolio. Following that strategy with the Hang Seng would mean every year, say on January 1st, you would look at the previous year's performers and buy those companies or those, those bottom end performers of the Hang Seng. Over time, it may not be a home run strategy, but I think it's a consistent way to avoid the variables that come with just having a long position in one index, the Hang Seng. That's all the time we have today on The Investment Advisor. I'm your host, Matthew Stevenson, in partnership with Dukas Copy TV. Remember, money can take care of you. It cannot take care of itself.